Hello friends, in this video you will see the correct usage of integer and float data types. Whenever you are dealing with mixed expressions consisting of int as well as float, you need to be careful. Observe the following code and try to find out the value of the result. Let us execute the program to find out the value. We get our answer as 6.0000. The value of the result obtained here is 6 and not 6.6666. Do you know why is this the case? Let me tell you the reason. The integer type A and B are declared as int data types, whereas the result has been declared by us as float data type. Thus, the operands of RHS expression are integer and the operand in the LHS that is result is of float data type and hence it gives rise to integer division. All of you must have seen sometime during your programming that division of two integers results into an integer value even if the left hand operand that is the result has been declared as float data type. So can you now guess what could be the solution to this problem? Now the solution to the problem is type casting to float as we will see here. Let us type cast our result into float. Now, what do you expect? You must be expecting the result to come out as 6.666 now, as the type costing to float has been done. Let us see if this actually happens. Well, this does not happen. Can you guess the reason? Let me tell you the reason. The reason is that the division still remains integer division resulting into the division outcome as 6. Then this 6 gets typecasted to float and becomes 6.0000. The mistake done here is that we have not typecasted the operands that is A or B. Until one of the operand is not float, the float division will not occur. So let us try to make one of the operands as float data type. Now let us try to see whether we get correct result or not. Now we get the correct result as 6.6667 as we can see here in this output window. So here the operand A has been typecasted into float data type and hence this A's value that is 20 has been converted to 
20.0, forcing the float division to take place. Thus, the result will now get correctly computed as 6.6666. Stay tuned and keep watching. For doubts, write in the comments section.